goes in the temple and he overturns the um the money changes. Now you would say, well, why did he do the money changes? What 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 what, what did that mean, right? Oh, that means you're not supposed to sell nothing in the church. That's a lie. You can sell stuff in the church. What they were doing was they was ripping people off. What they would do is they would take um, sacrifices, sacrificial um, animals, because the people were coming into the temple to do sacrifices. What they would do is they would sell the people defective animals and make them pay as if the, the animal was perfect. So they were ripping them off. So, so what he does is he overturns the, um, the, the money changers, right? And he says, it is written in the scriptures that my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you made it a hole of thieves. So what is he doing? He's exposing what the church should be and what the church is right now. Amen. Amen? He's exposing what the church should be and then he compares it to what it is right now. Right. It should be a house of prayer. It should be a place where people have relationship with God. It should be a place where people experience the presence of God. It should be a place where people experience the glory of God and they hear the word of God, not where they get deceived. Not where they get ripped off. Not where they get hurt. Not where they get gossiped about. Not where they get ostracized. Amen. And condemned and judged. Not that kind of place, but a place of refuge and salvation, a place where they can find peace, a place where they can find love, a place where they can find, where they can find acceptance. If you can't find acceptance in the church, if you're going to a church, you can't find acceptance. If you're going to a church and you feel like the people are talking about you, if you're going to a church where you feel the people don't love you, then you are in the wrong church. When you come to church, you ought to feel like someone loves you in the church. You ought to feel like you're accepted. You ought to feel like God loves you. You ought to feel like there's someone there that, that no matter what you do, they know that, they, they, that you know you can go there and get some help. Amen. That's what the church should be. And that if your church is not that church, then you need to find another church. Amen. 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 There's no way every time you come into the door, you should feel condemned. There's no way you should feel like the pastor is taking your business and preaching it over the pulpit to get to you. Y'all acting like this stuff that don't go on. Everybody looking at me like, don't talk about that. But we, we got to, we got in order for things to change, you have to, you have to be willing to confront these things. You have to be willing to confront that, yo, the church has not been what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a house of prayer. It's supposed to be a, a place where you can find refuge in the presence of God. There's no way you should be coming to the church and, and, and you, you have to tiptoe in. Because you feel like the moment people see you, they go, oh, there he go. There she go. That's not how it should be. And we should never, ever treat each other in that manner. Amen. That don't just come from the leadership. That comes from everybody in here. Nobody should ever make someone else feel that way in the church. Because if the, if the mirror is turned on you, and God begin to pull out your little skeletons out of your closet, how would you feel? <sighs> so we have to restore our brother in the spirit of meekness, considering ourselves, lest we be tempted or lest we be exposed for the dirt that we do. <laughs>